Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now, if you have a dipped car, you know that there are things that you can do to help protect it from things like scratching and marring. But even if you use something like dip coat, you know that a dipped car is simply not bulletproof. It can be scratched and things will happen. Now, with so many people using the new Performance Series line, I'm gonna show you a trick today that's specific to the Performance Series that's a very easy way to get rid of surface scratches. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is our Evo. We just sprayed it in the Performance Series Frozen Blue a week or so ago, and everybody loves the color. We wanted to keep it on here for a while. Now, in South Florida, you're going to get storms. We came out yesterday, noticed that it was parked under a tree, and a pretty sizable branch came down right on top of the Evo and gave us a nice set of scratches here. Now, with the technique that we're gonna be talking about today, it's important to note, you're going to probably be able to use the technique to fix surface scratches as long as they haven't torn through the dip. Once they're torn through the dip and you can see the OEM paint, you're probably gonna to have to peel and respray that area to get it perfect again. However, we are dealing with surface scratches here and they can be very, Frustrating. Now, the technique we're going to use today is very simple, but very effective. What we're going to do is take leftover Frozen Blue Performance Series liquid right out of the gallon. We're going to take our DYC sprayer, we're going to mask everything off around it, and we're going to do a very specific technique on this surface to get it looking good again. Now, there's a right and a wrong way to do this, so make sure you pay attention to how we do it. Now, why is this technique specific to the Performance Series and not regular Plasti-Diff? or top coat with pearls. Well, it may kind of work with regular Plasti Dip, it may kind of work with top coat and pearls, but the reason why it really works with the Performance Series is because the Performance Series is a combination of tints and metallics all in one. The tints will cover the scratches, and the metallics, the metallic surface will help break up the surface so you can't see any imperfections. So for example, if you did this technique with regular Plasti Dip with no metallics, You'll cover the scratches, but you'll see where all those individual droplets and everything just landed on the surface. It's not going to be a perfect finish. With top coat and pearls, you're dealing with a very delicate surface. Top coat has a shine to it and a high sheen, essentially. And when you put that light coat on, you're going to see the dryness of the light coat around the other high sheen areas. So this is a technique that really only works well with the performance series, which is great because the performance series, luckily, is what most dippers are using now. So let's get this set up. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna mask and how we're gonna attack it. Hang with me. This is the area where the scratches are and this is where we're gonna to wanna to focus. Now what we wanna do for masking is essentially mask off the areas where we don't wanna get Plasti Dip. So we're gonna mask off this back windshield here. We're gonna mask off the door and the rear window back here. And we're gonna mask off the tail light down there. Now some people may think that you wanna create essentially a masking box around the area where the scratches are, but you don't want to do that. The reason is you want the progression of your spray to be as natural as possible so you don't see any lines. If you mask a box around this scratch area and go ahead and do those light coats, when you remove the masking, you're going to see the outline of that masking in the spray, and we don't want this to look any different than the rest of the car. So Gabe's going to come in here and help me out. We're going to mask off these windows and move on to the next step. So we've got everything masked off and the next thing we're gonna do is make sure we thoroughly clean the surface of the dip that we're going to spray. For example, if you had dip coat on there from a previous application, the new dip won't be able to properly bond to the old dip. So we wanna clean it real well. Best thing to use is pre-dip spray and a microfiber towel. Just wipe down the area that you're gonna spray. You don't need all that much. And the pre-dip will evaporate away and we'll be ready to go. So we've got some brown paper set up here because first I wanna show you how to dial in the spray fan and the volume settings on your dip sprayer. The amount of product that you're putting out here and the size of your spray fan plays a huge role in making sure that you get this technique done properly. If you put out too little product or too much product, it won't get the job done right. So I've got a vertical spray fan set up here and I've turned my volume knob all the way to the bottom. Now I'm gonna turn on my dip sprayer system and slowly work up the volume knob until I get about a four inch to five inch fan. That's about where I wanna be, right there. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the car. Now again, this is the area where the scratches are contained, but we're not just gonna focus our spray over the scratches. We're gonna start way to the left, carry over way to the right. We're gonna go above it and below it with light passes. If you focus all of your product right over the scratches, you're gonna wet that area out. You're gonna have too much of a concentration of product and you're gonna see a dark wet patch here. It's gonna be very noticeable and you won't actually be fixing anything. You'll be causing more problems. If you go too light from too far away, you may hide some of the scratches, but you're gonna add a rough texture to the surface and we don't want that. So we're gonna stay at a medium distance, medium speed, and we're gonna wet the surface out about 40 to 50%. Now you can do multiple coats. You don't have to fix the scratches on just one coat. So we're gonna take it coat by coat until we get it right. So it's been about 15 minutes, our first coat is dry and everything looks great so far. The scratches are reduced by about 40 to 50%. We're gonna go do one more coat and see if we can cover them completely. So it seems like our second coat did the trick. You can't see the scratches anymore. Now before you unmask the car, make sure you check on the scratches from a bunch of different high and low angles because sometimes they can get a little bit sneaky, but we can't see ours anymore, so we're gonna take the masking off the car. So that's it guys, a very simple solution, but a solution that has to be done correctly. And when it's done correctly, it's very effective. Now I definitely suggest that you guys practice this spray technique before you do it on your car, because if you do it a little bit too light or way too heavy, you may make your problem even worse instead of correcting it. So practice it so when you do it on your car, you can fix the issue and have your car back to normal. Now again, this works like a charm with the Performance Series gallons. I mean, the car right now, all you can see is that frozen blue finish. There's three different size metallics in the frozen blue. And when you look up close, you can see all those metallic particles just breaking up the surface and you can't see any imperfections at all. Now it kind of works with regular Plasti Dip, it kind of works with Dip Pearl Top Coat and Pearls, but again, this is one of the many benefits of using the Performance Series gallons. Now if you have any questions at all, email us customerservice at dipyourcar.com, chat with us directly on the website, or call in. We love to talk to you guys about your projects. If you need anything from Dip Your Car at all, click right up here. It'll take you to the website. It's Fonzie. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.